Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers right here in Junction City, Oregon. Junction City, Oregon. I'm the van guy. I want to show you a new Coachman product. It's very awesome on a Ford Transit chassis. Let's pop in and take a look around. Nice wide entry step. Nice step in, doesn't move back and forth. It's stationary, doesn't have to move anywhere. Got a nice screen door and a handhold here so you don't rip the screen door off. Um, come on back, I'll show you around. So I have it in the flat position right now and Coachman's one of the, I think it's the only company in a van that has an absolutely flat bed in the back. Very comfortable, very easy. Uh, let's roll it up. Seat belts in the back. That way if you have somebody come back here, catch my foot. They got a nice space to sit back in here. They can talk as well as to the front. They have a flat screen TV, a DVD player. Life's really good if you got five people rolling down the road. Very comfortable. Uh, I've got reading lights. Um, look at the, the finish on all this. Finished off very well. It's got your screen here that pops up. And, and clamps in up above. Window opens up for ventilation on both sides. Um, you have 110 outlet on this side, 110 outlet on, the, on that side. Uh, I use a CPAP. I always look for plug-ins so I can put my machine someplace. And if you need it, we got it. Uh, cabinets. There's a lot of cabinets in this unit. They're all backlit. Easy to see everything as well as your DVD player here. They're all self-closing, and they're all 100% real wood. Everybody goes, but gosh, there's just no place to put stuff. You got this huge overhead to put everything. You don't have to have a big old closet to put stuff in. You can fold the jacket up. This is all the owner's packet right here in this little box that I tilted over so I can run the couch out. Uh, moving into the kitchen area, we have a recessed sink, easy to utilize, and it goes flat for counter space. Induction cooking, again, if you put a magnet pan on here, it's going to warm up very quick. When you take it off, it's going to cool down very quick. Not instantaneously, but very quick. Uh, garbage can! Where have I seen the last, oh, it was another Coachman product. They have garbage cans and room over here for more. Scrubbers. Solid wood. Drawer space. A lot of drawer space. Wish I'd put those on our kitchen when we did them. I have to keep closing the drawers all the time. Oh! Three, two shelves in here. Fully adjustable. You can move them up or down or take them out. Good storage space. Microwave. And then you have freezer on the bottom, refrigerator on the top. Now you're scratching your head and going, the van guy is crazy. What are you doing? Well, you're going to get in the refrigerator a lot more than you are the freezer. And when you're getting ice cream or maybe some ice out for cocktail, it's okay because you. That's good, but the rest of the time you're going to be up above, and that's a nice design feature I really enjoy. So we're going to move up to the shower. Fiberglass, one piece. Uh, nice, well lit. Um, doesn't have a shower nozzle. Oh, sure it does. Right here. Goes right up here. Da -da -da. So you use this for your shower. No, you really don't put it up there. That's a place to hang it while you're standing here because you can turn it off. And then you can also use it for your sink. Right down here. Dispenser. How many times have you been in an RV and you're looking for the soap, the shampoo, the conditioner? Well, this has got a reservoir. You just push the button and out it comes. Nice dispenser. Toilet paper is covered. And as you all know, you come in here to take a shower in your van, in your RV, you're going to do it quickly and efficiently and get out of there. Because if you're dry camped, you're not, you don't have a lot of water, nor you do have a, not have a lot of storage compared to a, 
a 45 foot motor home. And this does have a flap here that gives you a little bit more width like that. Isn't that nice? Good design feature. Storage up on top. There's a nice cubby in here. It's pretty deep. And then if you turn around, we have the command center up top, your Truma heater, generator start switch, um, your tank capacity is up here, uh, awning extension, awning power, awning light, so it's got a light in the awning, water pump, that battery disconnect switch. So if you hit this, she's turned off. Your solar's still working, it's still charging your battery. Now I want to point out the passenger seat does swivel in the transit. The driver's seat has an emergency brake that prevents that. Nice big entry doors, very nice. That's why Dodge got out of it, Ford got out of it, and Chevy's left because they have the little doors. And all these big doors are so nice to get in and out of. The Truman heater throws out very little heat right here. Electrical outlet, magnet to hold your door closed. So you've got, come here, you've got a screen that latches in right down here. If you want to use, open the doors up, you get screens on the other ones as well. Then you have a privacy screen that comes down on top of that for at nighttime. Hitch wiring in the back, backup cameras down here, so you've got a great view of the immediate area. It's got the fish eye, so it's going to give you a good look of what you're backing into. Generator exhaust, water connection, fresh water, black water flush. Boy, you want to make sure you have the dump handle open on that bad boy or it fills up your tank, goes up through your toilet, and I'll stop there. Cable hookup, 110. Um, sewers down below. And like a lot of uh, the Sprinter chassis, when you open up the main cabin door, you have access to your fuel. So that way you don't have to worry about somebody getting in there and monkeying with it one way or another. Great products. I know you have a couple questions. Just my email is at the bottom of the screen. Oh yeah, better yet. Give me a call, 541-554-9581. I appreciate your time and I look forward to working with you. Thank you.